had days where you felt a little too small for the task, and the world seems like it could be run by evil pigs in hiding? Your best response just might be a big sense of humor, a lot of attitude, and a big head of day-glow pink hair. That's the world of Tomba, a defiant jungle boy and a platform adventure that wowed the reviewers last year with great gameplay. And now its famous designer, Takura Fujiwara, has come back with Tomba 2, the evil swine return. I believe in always trying things I've never done before. Tomba is humorous and warm-hearted, a complete opposite of games I've designed in my past like Resident Evil and Ghost and Goblins. The original Tomba won praise from many reviewers for delivering the pure fun of classic 2D side-scrollers modified with some 3D elements. Tomba 2 takes this concept into full 3D with a twist. There are a lot of free-roaming games out there, but some have forgotten the real essence of gameplay, which the best 2D games have. In Tomba 2, there's a linear path down which the character moves, so gameplay is more exact and challenging. Yet it takes place in a 3D world, so we can move the camera all over. It's the best of 2D and 3D together. Another way the Tomba series is different is the event system. Many other games have action from beginning to end with just one way through. Tomba has some mandatory events, but others are optional. You bump into them as you go. They surprise you. You can solve them in your own unique style, so everybody plays a slightly different game. There are many other new features in Tomba 2 to check out. You get new weapons like hammers, an ice boomerang, and more. As you beat certain bosses, you can get clothes that give you new powers, like this flying outfit. The game, said one critic, proves once and again that Fujiwara-san is the master of creating a feeling of tight control. I work to make sure there is no distance between your mind, the controls, and the character. You think it, it happens instantly. He's been designing games for 10 years, including classics like Mega Man, Bionic Commando, Street Fighter, and Breath of Fire. What's changed about designing a game? I still make games the same way, basically, but 10 years ago, one person could make a game. Now you need a team, even just to plan a game concept. More than 20 people are working on Tomba, too. It's been challenging. Our office even has nap rooms and showers on site for all-nighters. But I'm happy to say we're on schedule. After 10 years, one of the world's experts at scaring people is becoming an expert at making them laugh. It's a new role that he likes. People always ask how I came up with Tomba. I wanted a character everyone could identify with. When you're a kid, you're a smart aleck, but you're also completely innocent. That's who Tomba is, and I think there's some Tomba in all of us. 